Wow, I cannot believe they have gone and done this. Guys, iOS 11.4 has been jailbroken and not the official version, the strangest one ever, iOS 11.4 beta, beta 3 and below. And in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to jailbreak iOS 11.4 beta 3, well, first update, downgrade, or restore to it, and then jailbreak your iPhone 10, 8, or 7 series. And that, of course, includes the pluses. So in one of the strangest moves ever in the jailbreak world, how to jailbreak on a beta and still get your foot in that jailbreak door. It's the craziest thing. And I personally have updated a lot of my jailbroken devices to 11.4 just for this so I can do the multiple HomePod things up here because that was the biggest thing that I don't like about being on 11.3.1 and jailbroken. So I've been running this jailbreak for a little while and I've installed a few tweaks. They worked just fine. I really wasn't able to see anything different from 11.3.1, but be warned, it may not have the same compatibility. Some tweaks may not work. You know, they may not even be updated because this is going to be such a rare firmware to be on. But in any case, before I get into all of that compatibility stuff, I'm going to show you how to do it first. And I just want to say this is being signed at the moment. You guys have to go to 11.4 beta 3, upgrade to it, downgrade to it, or restore to it, in order to do this, of course. And I'll leave a link to Coolstar's Twitter in the description. You guys wanna periodically refresh this. He'll let you know if the firmwares aren't being signed anymore and what's up, basically, what's going on with this. Um, but uh, yeah, iOS 11.4 Beta 3 is being signed right now. You can update to it or restore to it on the iPhone 10, on the iPhone 8, and on the iPhone 7 series, and no device below that. So uh, let's go ahead and get to upgrading. And uh, by the way, I've done this already on the iPhone 10 and 8 series. The iPhone 7 still works as well, but the 6S below will not. And I'll do it just for the heck of it again. Uh, by the way, this is an iPhone 8 that I just upgraded or downgraded to iOS 11.4 beta 3. And I'm gonna do it again with you real quick. All right, so basically, yes, you do need a computer for this, of course. And uh, if you miss the jailbreak window for 11.3 or 11.3.1, .1, this is your next best shot. Again, only if you have the compatible devices. Everyone else is straight out of luck, but seriously, it's crazy that this is even possible. So in the description, I'm gonna leave a site where to visit to download the beta firmware. And of course, depending on which device you have, you're gonna download a different one. And it really doesn't matter if you click global or GSM, it's the same exact firmware version here. So just select your device. And for me, it's the iPhone 8 series. So I'm just gonna select iPhone 8 global here. And I think, yeah, this is downloading the wrong one. So it needs to say 4.7 when downloading it. So I'm gonna click over here on seven. Yeah, there it is, so 4.7. That's how you know you got the right one. The iPhone 8 or regular screen 4.7 is the 4.7. The plus version is 5.5 just to, to make that clear. And of course, there are different websites you can get this from. This is just the one I'm providing, and if I find another one, I'll leave a link to them. Anyways, once you've got the firmware downloaded in uh, iTunes, once this is registered, all right, so I'm all set up in iTunes, and as you can see, I'm on 11.4. It really doesn't matter where you are. You can be on iOS 12, you can be on iOS 11.3, or even iOS 11.4. All you need to do, or even 11.4.1, is hold option on a Mac or shift on Windows and left click check for update. And then go ahead and select that downloaded 11.4 beta 3 firmware and go ahead and select update. So it is being signed at the moment of this video that may change with time again. Go check Coolstar's Twitter to be updated on the status of that. He will of course let you know when that loophole is closed. All right, and the process has begun. So my iPhone 8 will begin to uh, update again to 11.4 beta 3. I just want to walk you guys through this to show you that it is possible here. Uh, this is seriously nuts. I seriously can't believe this works, but it's so cool. I'd rather have a beta version with a jailbreak. It's still technically the newest version than none at all. Now the question I'm sure many of you guys will have is, is it worth updating if you're currently on the 11.3.1 jailbreak or anywhere around there, 11.3 or 11.2? I personally did on several of my devices. I did leave a couple on this firmware. Overall, I think you'll have a better experience on 11.3.1 in terms of compatibility and whatnot, but 11.4 is more stable, I'd say. And even though it is a beta, you still do get that HomePod support. So I don't know, in my opinion, I would still stick here. So I personally did update and on my personally jailbroken iPhone, uh, just for the stability, oh man, this froze. So in general, I think that 11.4 will be more stable and I would do it personally, but I don't wanna push you guys. You have a guaranteed jailbreak already, why take the risk? The only annoying thing about being on a beta is that every time you unlock, you get this pop-up that says, please update, but this is easily removable with a jailbreak tweak, so you don't even need to worry about this. Um, Cydia itself works quite well. I had no issues installing anything. 
it works just like it did on 11.3.1 .1. and overall even though it is a beta you're not really going to notice it it's still pretty dang stable very very similar to the current 11.4.1 .1 firmware so i would say that there really is no detriment to being on this firmware all right and there it is so it's been updated this is on ios 11.4 beta 3 and you'll know when you get this pop-up right here we'll take care of that later but for now you are on 11.4 and we can go ahead and proceed with this jailbreak now normally i would recommend ignition.fun to jailbreak your device without a computer but they don't have the newest version of this just yet uh, so it's still a version behind but as soon as it's updated within a couple hours probably you don't need the computer version i'll just show you how to do it regardless and it's the one i would recommend in any case but uh, all right so with the device plugged in, CD Impactor downloaded, go ahead and drag Electra version 1.0.3, which I'll include links to down below in the description onto CD Impactor. What is going on? All right, and go ahead and log in. All right, so while that's installing, go back to ignition.fun and download Bye Bye Updates right here. This is the Apple TV profile and you have to install this in order for the jailbreak to be successful. So go ahead and install, install, and restart the device. Electra has been added in the meantime, so upon rebooting, it will be there. All right, so we've restarted. Next step is to go ahead and disable Siri. This is a necessary step for this. And then jump into Electra, place your device into airplane mode, and uh, I'd lock it for about a minute. You know, a minute later, I'd unlock it and click jailbreak, of course. Um, oh yeah, and you do need to remove your passcode. So if you do have a passcode on the lock screen, you need to get rid of that. And uh, it took me a couple tries. It was actually really, really quick on version 1.0.3 of Electra. So you should be jailbroken within a moment's notice here. And that time did not work. So once again, oh, and uh, yeah, I forgot the trick. So the trick is to turn your device off before you click jailbreak for about a minute, then unlock your device and click jailbreak right away. And most of the time that will make it work. So it does take a couple tries, but within a few minutes here, I should be jailbroken and success so we've got Cydia go ahead and launch it for the first time actually it won't work you got to go back in and then enable the jailbreak um, so let's go ahead and wait for that okay and now we're all done so Cydia you can now run it go to changes refresh and uh, you're good to go so again like I said everything that I could install on 11.3.1 .1, I was able to install here so let me just try one famous tweak, for example. And by the way, this is the repo you need to add to get rid of that annoying pop-up, parrotgeek.com repo. And this is the package here, no beta alert. So after you install this, you will not get that annoying pop-up every single time you unlock your iPhone, letting you know that you need to update from this beta. And by the way, I did install Eclipse 10 with no issues whatsoever. So I'm getting a SIM card alert, but no longer any iOS beta alerts. Also, it's enabled here. This is Eclipse 10 and it's working perfectly in all areas. So Cydia tweaks for me work just fine. I'm having no issues whatsoever. In fact, I'm really liking how fluid and stable it is even over iOS 11.3. It's really great. And then of course, the added benefits of me being able to control all my home pods here from within the control center. So how cool is that? Man, I'm actually so happy with this. So I just wanted to say to Coolstar, thank you so much for providing support for beta one to beta three. There is no chance of this working on iOS 11.4. The only reason, and by 11.4, I mean the final release. The only reason this is even working is because Apple didn't patch the exploit used in the Electra jailbreak until later on in 11.4 past beta four. And honestly, it could be a lot worse. We could be on beta one of 11.4, which wouldn't have been as stable or as great, or you could be stuck with no jailbreak at all so this is the best solution you have right now for jailbreaking your device and believe it or not this does raise the value of your device i've been on ebay and jailbroken devices are selling for a ridiculous price like some people man but uh, anyways thanks for watching guys enjoy the jailbreak special thank you to the electra jailbreak team and cool star